So, so anyway, um, we're here uh, to do a, our songwriters who basically are our features on um, – on our uh, Neon Legacy show, uh, which I really appreciate everybody who's who's uh, called in and, and talked to us. And, uh, and actually, some people have come by to be in what we call in-studio, which is basically sitting in Jenny's um, computer room recording uh, stuff live. But, hey, it, it, it sounds great on the air. And, we, and just so everybody knows, um, all the work that you guys have done and all the music that you all have made is really making an impact. And still making an impact on people, uh, listeners, not just here in the United States, but around the world. We get so many compliments. Uh, we get so many people saying, you know what? I wait every week to listen to this show. Uh, and it's because of, it's because of all you great, great uh, composers and creators. And uh, My hat's off to you, and I didn't even wear a hat. But if anybody has a hat, they can just ha- take it off. For, on my my behalf so so anyway i thank y'all for being here and um we're gonna play some good music tonight i know because all of you guys and gals have great music that you play and i'm gonna play a little music too i'm gonna get started out with some songs and um first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tell you guys that that doing this radio show this neon music country legacy show um which um whether anybody knows it or not was inspired by bert gagnon and Bert, of course, has played everybody's in this room. They've played you guys' songs, my songs, for years. And what what a what a blessing! I mean, I don't like to use that word often, but that guy was a real blessing for us because I don't know if somebody's not a songwriter, especially. I don't know if people who don't do this realize how you know that really, really is part of our inspiration is when we know that. It's we're getting played and somebody's listening and somebody's going, hey, that was good. Play that again. We we do this. This songwriting thing we're doing is a, it's communication is what it is. I know it's everybody's like, oh, it's art. And it's this. That. No, this is a this is a form of communication. And everyone in this room can consider themselves a great communicator because what you've done has connected with millions of people around the world and, and here and everywhere and personally. And you get it. So thanks for being here. I'm going to play a song now that basically came through this radio show. Um, um, Leona Williams is going to be a feature here in a few weeks on one of our shows. And she came over to talk, and she brought some songs, like some of y'all have brought some songs that that haven't been recorded. And they said, uh, you know, uh, let's see if let's see if you know we can uh, get Randy to maybe sing one of these tunes. So she brings this song in, and it's a little, you know, it's a swingy Texas thing and everything. And and I played it, and I went, okay. And then I went, oh my gosh, that lyric's really cool. Wow, that melody's really cool. So. I did a demo of it, and we, we sent it to, to to Leona. Well, she really loves it, and, and I'm so glad she does because it's nothing like what she sent me. And I was so afraid she was going to go, you've ruined my song. So this is a Merle Haggard, Leona Williams co-write. It's called Don't Sing Me No Songs About Texas. Don't sing about Luke and about Texas. Don't sing that sand. Don't sing that song about Dallas Hey, I know very well how it goes Yeah, get your New York honky-tonk to honking And turn up the music and do it right But don't sing no songs about Texas Cause that's where my heart is too well, New York ain't no place for a cowboy Broadway ain't no place to have a dance If you're gonna play the music, play the melody This place is looking worse with every glance Yeah, get your New York honky-tonk to honking And turn up the music and do it right 
But don't sing no songs about Texas Cause that's where my heart is tonight Hey, get your New York fingers off that Texas fiddle Don't want to hear no part of faded love And don't sing in the streets of Laredo Or beneath the stars up above Yeah, get your New York honky-tonk to hokin' And turn up the music and do it right But don't sing no songs about Texas Cause that's where my heart is tonight Don't sing no songs about Texas Cause that's where my heart is tonight Now, there's another reason why I did that song. That song was inspired by uh, something that Ernest Tubb said. Uh, Leona was playing the Opry back when uh, Ernest was on the Opry one weekend. And uh, Ernest Tubb's bus driver, who I think was his road manager and so forth and such. Anyway, Leona says, the bus driver came to her and said, Hey, Leona, now Ernest wants to hear some of your songs. He'd really like to record some of them. You and, you and Merle have been writing, writing some great songs. He wants, to, he wants to hear some and record them. But he, he told me to give you a message. Don't send me no songs about Texas. <laughs> and she thought, hey, that's kind of neat. So they, they said, she said when her and Merle Haggard went back out on the road a few weeks later, they wrote that little song. So anyway, that's, that, that's for you too, Glenn. I really, I really appreciate you <laughs> and, your, and your Uncle Ernest as well. All right, let me just continue with a couple of songs here. We're just going to try to keep this thing rolling. I'm going to do a song because my brother's here today. And we, uh, we grew up with a, with a dad who was uh, like no other dad, at least at the, in our eyes. He wasn't anyway. Our dad grew up a lot, a lot like most folks have grown up who are fairly honest. He grew up real poor. He didn't have a whole lot of money, and he had to pull himself by, up by his own bootstraps. So by the time he did well with his job, which was he was an airline pilot uh, after he was in the Air Force, he, um, he started to acquire things. A lot, of, a lot of times when people get money, they acquire things. You know, you get things. And my dad, apparently, two seemed to be a good number for him he'd get two of everything he had two fishing rods two shotguns he had uh two trucks he had you know he had two fishing boats he had uh he had two sons um, had one wife so um so around father's day uh or, or on his birthday or something uh there wasn't nothing i could find him you know that i thought i could buy for him that he didn't already have two of so so I just decided, I, in fact, I talked to my mom. I said, you know, I said, I, I just don't know what to get him. She said, well, just get him a card. And I thought, okay, I'll give him a card, you know. Okay. So, but he liked the far side. He liked Gary Larson. So I'd get him a far side Gary Larson card. You know, he liked that one that had the, the deer, the two deer standing in the woods. And one of them's got a target on his back. And the other deer looks at that deer and he says, man, that's, that's a bummer of a birthmark you got there, son. So, so I'd get him this card, and, and, and whenever I'd get him a card, I'd put a note in the card. And the note would say, this card is good for three days of my time. And for three days, uh, no matter what anybody called or whatever, I'd say, no, I'm busy. And we would go do whatever Dad wanted to do. And, there, and to this day, I can tell you, there's no thing that I could have ever gotten him, no matter how precious it probably would have been, you know, under a counter or in a closet somewhere that was better than that time I gave him. So I thought, got to thinking about all that stuff, and it was kind of close to a Father's Day a couple of years ago. And this song just came to me while I was walking a dog outside one morning. And I couldn't get that dog to get finished with his business fast enough. Because you know how it is when a song comes. <laughs> it's like, Whoa, get out of the way. Trains arriving at the station. People are getting off. <laughs> This is called Paul. I 
I learned how to fish And I learned how to hunt I learned how to fight And when I should run Then I learned how to catch And throw a baseball Then I learned how to lose Cause you can't win them all And I learned there's a time When a man must decide To stop changing and be who he has to be Once and for all Yeah, I learned it all Paul I learned not to cry Without a damn good reason And I learned there are times When you hate your decisions And I learned there's a God Without no religion In the mountains and the woods And the rain on the river And I learned that a man Can only be lost If he stops believing in love When the pain is too strong Yeah, I learned it all seemed like now this came too late was it God or was it fate I should say all these things to you in this song years after you have been gone but you taught me all things have their own time and place and I know on some day in your own simple way with one little phrase You'll explain all these things After all Paul Now I know how to fish And I know how to hunt <laughs> So do you <laughs> Paul My Paul. There you go. Paul. <laughs> for, for me and my brother, my dad was famous for saying things like, cheer up, things could get worse. I cheered up, and sure enough, things got worse. <laughs> so I'm working on a new record, and um, because the old one is uh, too old for me to say new record anymore um and um uh, i've been recording this summer i've taken this summer to actually make make some recordings and do some stuff along with some of these great songs from y'all's uh that y'all's catalogs that i've been able to to record um i've got um uh, i've got this song that i wrote with uh debbie swift this is um this little lady uh is carl perkins daughter and Debbie and I wrote songs for a few years, and we wrote a few with Carl while he was around. And then after Carl passed away, uh, Debbie couldn't find it in herself to to want to write any songs anymore. And uh, she didn't want to go. They they used to always write down at his little studio, which was behind his house, which basically they took the pool house and they turned it into a recording studio. And that's where they would write songs. She would come in with lyrics and stuff, and, and her and Carl would sit around, and Stan would come in, or Greg, they'd all come in. They'd jam. They'd have, they'd come up, they'd, they'd write songs in, you know, 10 minutes, you know. So she, uh, 
she said, I don't want to write any songs anymore, Randy. I said, well, Debbie, you're going to have to. I said, because I tell you what, now's the time you're going to have to get back on the horse. She says, well, I can't go back down to the studio. I said, I will come down, and I will walk you down to the studio. She goes, well, I might turn around and leave. I said, well, you turn around and leave if you want to. But I said, we're going to get you in the door, okay? I said, do you have an idea? She says, I do. But she said, I just don't, I just don't think I can work on it. I said, Debbie, you have to do this, okay? You have got to get back to this. This is, this is part of your life. You love this. You love this as much as you like digging in the garden. You know, she goes, well, you're right. You know me pretty well. So she handed me these lyrics to this song, and we sat down, and we composed this thing. And a lady by the name of Dottie Moore, who's a friend of ours, she helped us out with it, too. It's called True Love Never Dies. I'll always be there Watching over your shoulder I'll never leave you Even when life is over I'll be the breeze Gently touching your face You'll feel my love In a child's sweet embrace You'll hear my song Each time a bird sings When you close your eyes I'll go walking through your dreams After the rain I'll taint you a rainbow You'll find my strength Down deep in your soul Over and over and over again Round and around love goes On without end Forever and ever I can't tell you why True love never dies I'll be the star shining bright in the darkness Or maybe the stranger who shows you some kindness When your heart is breaking I'll smile through your tears As love parts the clouds and the sun reappears Over and over and over again Round and round love goes On without end Forever and ever, I can't tell you why. Over and over and over again, round and round love goes on without him. Forever and ever, I can't tell you why. True love never dies. True love. Never dies, baby. My love, your love, true love, honey. It never dies. True love never dies. Mm. Thank you all so much. <laughs> People who've written platinum records are applauding for a song I've written. <laughs> what kind of weird reality check is that? Okay, uh, we're going to bring up uh, this uh, young lady who is, uh, she's become a really good friend of mine. And um, uh, I'd like to say she's, uh, I, we need a saying for Judy, you know, the sweetest voice this side of the Mississippi River or something like that. But Judy Rodman, would you please come on up and uh, do a little music for us to, uh, tonight here at just a minute. Okay. Sounded great, Randy. I have a, uh, a note I was asked to read here, so I want to share it with uh, everyone that's here right now. And I'll just read the note verbatim. It says, first, uh, I have a note sent from uh, station manager Paula of LOZ Radio, and Paula said, I'd like to thank Jenny Foley. Need me to move over? Okay, I'll move over. Jenny Foley, uh, Diane Gintis, uh, and everyone involved with setting up and performing this show that we're all participating in tonight. We at LOZ Radio appreciate each and every one of you, and we are so honored to play your music on our station. Those are her words. She also says, we were thankful that we could dedicate an entire day of shows to Bert Gagnon, and in line with that, 
We have decided that we want to honor someone very dear and special to us at LOZ Radio with the first, I'm guessing the first ever, LOZ Radio Burt Gagnon Radio Show Host Award. And that award certainly belongs to you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Randy, for all you do to keep traditional country music alive and for keeping Burt's vision going and sharing your great music with us, if you would. Folks, how about that? Congratulations. <laughs> Two of everything, just like you said. I got something to hold up over my head, something to eat off of. <laughs> thank, thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, Bill. Once again, I really don't know what to say. It's just it was. It's really like playing one of your songs in front of people who've written platinum records. <laughs> this is this is. Uh, um, I will, I will say this. I was telling Jenny about how we work on this show, and I said, you know, Jenny, this is really the favor that really got out of hand. You realize that, don't you? I mean, we we really work hard to make these shows sound great, and and I'm going to accept this on the on behalf of Jenny and myself because we work, we put so much work into this, and we really are we're real proud of it for one thing, and and this this kind of validates our work a whole lot because. Um, you know, it's it's really kind of reward enough to be able to kind of like play such great music and have such a, I mean, we've got bushels and bushels and bushels of great songs and great singers and, and records and things that that we get to draw from and 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 I'm gonna I just want just going away from this for just a second. I just want to let everybody know. Not only do I appreciate this. But I want I want everybody to know that the reason why that you, everyone in, in this room is happy tonight is because not only do we all live about ninety nine point nine percent above the line of suffering, we also improve that one percent that is above the line of suffering greatly by what all of all of us in this room do and what all of y'all have done and what you continue to do. So um, may. The music always keep going on, and thank you so much, uh, LOZ, and um, thank you. Okay. Now, this is Judy Rodman. That's who I was looking for. Okay. How are you, dear? I am sneaky. How are you? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. You know, you know, the truth is, you know, th- I can't imagine anybody to take over Bert's r- the reins of the horse that Bert rode so well, if if not you, and well, with, now, with Jenny's help. Too. Now, now right. I, I will explain to you. Uh, now, um, uh, June Stearns was asking me. She asked me point blank a couple of months ago because I went to see Jim Parker uh, over at uh, Ernest Tubbs. A show uh, that Glenn was hosting. It was on, and Jim was on the show. And, and June said, "Now, well, you're uh, you're uh, you're taking over for Bert, I hear." And I said, "No, no, 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 no." I said, "Nobody can take over for that." I you're said, right. I said, I said "June, I said what what we what we're doing is," he said, "We're wanting to create something that you know whether anybody's here from now on, these shows are going to be somewhere where where they can be played." Yeah. You know, the thing about Bert's thing is it was live. I mean, there's not a whole lot of that stuff left around. <laughs> what we're trying to do is really, we, we're really just trying to create a well that that radio programmers uh, can draw from yeah. for the next, I don't know, however many years, however long. Yeah. It, however, when people's ears fall off and they quit listening, then they won't need them anymore. So, yeah. and I like to tell uh, the LOZ folks and and all the radio stations that we we try to think of this as almost like a, a set of encyclopedias. It's like you could go to these shows and you could say, well, I want to, let me look under the T section for Tub, for Glenn Tub. Okay, there it is. There's that encyclopedia. Let me go to the, let me go to the, the, the F section for, for Dallas Frazier. Oh, there's that one right there, you know. So it's really yeah. like we're building, we feel like we're building an archive that, yeah. that we hope will, will, we feel like it's going to stand the test of time. We, we try not to mess it up for anybody. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I so am, much. for one, be very glad to be part of the village. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Randy. This is um, what I'm going to do is, is uh, something I wrote with my husband John and our son Peter. He started playing this little groove. Peter just was, you know, he, he's kind of one of these musicians that never claimed to be professional, but he it's in there. It's in the genes. He couldn't he couldn't escape it with John and me. So. Uh, so he was playing that one day, and then John started playing the drums, and I started playing the keyboards, and we decided 
the name of the song was something like that. <laughs> and then I had to figure out what the heck that meant. So see if you can. I'm going to play my cheesy guitar one more time here, and I really appreciate you adding your real one, Randy, um, and do one that, and for the archives, maybe uh, people will remember from the, the 80s. And this one was written by Hank, Hank uh, Riddle, and uh, was my first number one, and uh, I like to remember it as the time I beat Randy Travis. <laughs> And it goes like this to see if I can remember the words. I never remember the words to the second verse. I don't know what it is about the second verse, but if you know it, sing along. There's a room in my father's house full Until I met 
Thank you. All right, so um, I'll do an, another number one um, that um, I actually made a lot more money on that I didn't sing. <laughs> All right. But I'm going to sing it now. She's actually, in fact, cha-ching, she has released it again. Uh, so uh, I couldn't believe it when I, I saw it. But uh, And she's, she's doing it so well. I'm, I'm talking about Leanne Rhymes. And she's doing such a beautiful, cool version of it. So I'm deciding I'm going to do my own beautiful, cool version of it. So I hope you guys recognize it. Here we go. I wrote this with Keith Hinton. Standing on the border Looking out into the green As I, I step out on my own There's a new horizon And the promise of a favorable wind I'm heading out tonight Traveling night Gonna start Start all over 
I can't. Cause I can't yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So good to be here with you guys. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> We're proud to have Dallas Frazier here. So everyone, Dallas Frazier, everybody.
Just to satisfy your 14 carat mind The cabin that I built in West Virginia Was not enough to keep you satisfied Cause the man that's got us all Y'all are good to this old man. Thank you. Uh, all songwriters have pet songs that they they've written them and they just they they would have swore, oh, this is going to be my biggest thing, you know. And I got I got a whole bunch of them actually. I don't have just one or two, but this this truly is one of my all-time favorite songs. The story is is very unique and it had a couple of. Bites on it, had three or four records, and it, even Diana Ross cut it. Yeah. But uh, uh, she, well, I'm not going to go into that as I published a deal. It Ernie Ford me. did this yeah, song, yeah. too. No? Ernie Ford did a cover of this song, too. Are you, are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you, Ernie Ford. You didn't get that check, did you? Well. <laughs> I got to start checking up on things. Yeah, you do. You might have to talk yeah. to him. Be, I got to go for, I got I, I got to go further than the mailbox. I got to keep on going downtown. Dallas it'd be like that story I told you about me on with on with Roy Acuff and my grandfather said, "Well, what are you going to do now?" It's like, "What do you mean? Well, you've done everything you can do if you played with Roy Acuff. So you've done a, you've had a song with Ernie Ford. Okay. You should have quit. Yeah. You, you you need to find something else to do. <laughs> I'll have to hear that one. <laughs> But anyway, this one's called uh, uh, Big Mabel Murphy. And uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite all-time songs. Way back in 29 On Cleveland's lakeshore side Was a honky-tonk named Big Mabel Murphy she had a sweetheart A name little Melvin And the hair would fly Between them every night They say little Melvin Got wild on bathtub gin Cause it made him Every morning 
with the two black eyes and knuckle bones on his head. Then late one rainy night, Scarface Muzi Olan came in and started shoving the folks around. A big Mabel Murphy was back in the kitchen. So just for fun, he shot it, Melvin down. Early next morning, down by the river, Scarface Murziola was found real short on breath. They say that Scarface had died from a whooping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to do one now. The, the, I, I know y'all have heard it. Uh, I think you will have. Uh, unless you've been in a cave someplace. <laughs> Under yeah. a rock. Uh, wrote this song. Um, right after I moved to Nashville, about, well, a couple of years maybe, a year and a half, uh, after I moved here, and uh, that was, uh, moved here in 63, this is about a 65 song, and uh, anyway, I, I, I got the idea from a street sign in East Nashville, it says Elvira Street, and I've always been a, like a, a connoisseur of funky, earthy names, and I, I love them, I, I started off with Alley Oop when I was a I uh, rode alley when I was still, I was 19, I guess, something like that. And uh, and that got me going on names. I've I've always been a name guy, especially earthy names. And I loved Elvira. I just loved it. But anyway, here we go. Uh, El, Elvira and... Uh, Elvira Cherry wine, she can show up, make my little light shine. I get a point of feeling up and down my spine, because I know that my Elvira is mine. Yeah, I'm a singing Elvira. Elvira, my 
we go to search and find that creature, man. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm a singing Elvira. Elvira. You make it fun to sing, man. Yeah. yeah. I like That's great. This. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Thank All right. You. you think you wrote that or something. Thank you, Dallas. Appreciate you. that. Man. Mm. Once again, Dallas Frazier, everybody. This next fellow we're going to get up comes from Alabama. All right. And uh, he uh, he has a great show down there that he does. It's a songwriter's uh, series that he does. It's his name is It's named after him, Jim Parker. And here he is. Jim Parker from the Jim Parker Songwriter Series. How about a hand for Jim Parker, everybody? How you doing, Jim? I'm, I'm really good, Randy. I, I appreciate it. Hey, did you mention that uh, we might be on November the 3rd at uh, Puckett's? I, I didn't with, mention it, but I, I'm, I'm that handing guy. that one over to you. Go ahead. Talk, talk to the good folks out there. Well, Dallas and Randy and I will be at uh, Puckett's in Franklin on the 3rd of November. Ain't it amazing the changes that come about When you find someone you can't live without That math you were taught ain't a lot But it all adds up to what you ain't got Two could eat as cheap as one As long as one don't get none You wanna give her more Your jaw hits the floor Sticker shock at the jewelry store You can't cash out Need a discount for a symbol of love that leaves no doubt It's a Walmart wedding ring Itty bitty teeny winny hope diamond It's tied to her heart strings Oh, it's her everything Her Walmart wedding ring Ten hour days, six days a week School at night to get his degree It all paid off, got a better job Raising three kids in the house they bought She didn't know it, but on the side He had a little bank account with the money he'd hide So he could afford to pay cash for A bigger ring than he bought before Well, you'd never guess what happened next she slid that ring right up against Her Walmart wedding ring Itty bitty teeny weeny hope diamond Is tied to her heart strings Oh, it's her everything Her Walmart wedding ring Oh, men don't think like women think. They can see their whole world in the smallest things. Like a Walmart wedding ring, itty bitty teeny weeny hope diamond is tied to her heartstrings. Oh, it's her everything. Walmart wedding ring Itty bitty teeny weeny hole diamond It's tied to her heartstrings Oh, 
tells her everything Her Walmart wedding ring You know, I've been uh, at a standstill, uh, standstill about what to play, and I thought I'd play my bluegrass number one, but I think I'm going to play this because I, I really enjoy this song more. It's again, it's about being a husband, and you know, I've been married uh, to this woman for over 40 years, and we've been together 42. For all of you out there, you can figure that out. Um, and I wanted to do this song because it's it's just us. <laughs> the game when she asked me for a Meg Ryan movie night I hope it don't get out to all my friends I choked it back but I cried at the end well that's what I'd love to be to you make a tired heart young and the world feel new you don't care if you look like a fool well that's what I'd love will do to I've had my heart broken at least a couple dozen times Way down at the bottom of the well Looking up at the line I swore up and down I'd never do it again That all went to hell when she walked in Now that's what love will do to you Make a tired heart feel new you don't care if you look like a fool well that's what love would do to you it can make you crazy make you lose your mind or turn you around and open up your eyes that's what love will do to you make a tired heart young don't care if you look like a fool Now that's what love will do to you oh, That's what love will do to you That's the truth Um uh, I'm well trained. I just want all you fellas to know that, and it was worth every uh, every minute of it. Started writing with John Anderson back in the oh, 70s, 76, 77 or so. He's cut a bunch of our songs, uh, but this one uh, just keeps living. It's just amazing. People cut it, and you know, I still get my pennies. You know, it's pennies now, right, Dallas? It's not. It's not big bucks. It's pennies now, and so and so. Um, I, I just love playing this song, and I've tried not to a few times, and my folks at the uh, the show won't allow me not to. So, what? You got that? It was morning when I left Alabama It must have been around in mid-July Yeah, I got behind a chicken truck from Georgia And the feathers was flying like snow out of the sky I couldn't get up speed enough to pass him and the funny smell was getting close to me Something keeps 
keeps on messing up my windshield. And the further I go, the harder it gets to see. Log, log, a chicken truck, chicken truck. Behind it, I'm stuck. Chicken truck, chicken truck, ain't it just my luck? Chicken truck on Highway 65. Yeah, the hens are squawking and the roosters are crowing. He's just slowing me down when I need to keep going. Chicken truck on Highway 65. Come on now. Sanders on his dashboard. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Why he was eating fried chicken and I thrown the bones on me. Lord, Lord, the chicken truck, chicken truck. Behind it, I'm stuck. Chicken truck, chicken truck, and you just my love. Chicken truck on Highway 65. Yeah, the hens are squawking and the roosters are crowing. These are slowing me down and I need to keep going. Chicken truck. On Highway 65 A chicken truck, chicken truck Behind it I'm stuck Chicken truck, chicken truck Ain't it just my love Chicken truck, chicken truck Behind it I'm stuck Chicken truck, chicken truck Ain't it just my love Thank you, all you chicken pluckers out there. Appreciate you. Chicken Thank you pluckers. so much. Thank you, Randy. Jim Parker, everybody, from the great state of Alabama. This guy, um, the first time I heard you actually sing was over at Jenny's house uh, when we were doing the, uh, the big thing for Bert. So let's have Jimmy Payne come on up and let me hear him sing again. What an honor it is to be here with all you guys tonight. You're some of my favorites. I still got somewhere I've got uh, Dallas Frazier's uh, record of Elvira with Alley Oop on the other side. I think it was a reissue that they re released the radio. So I found it somewhere and I've got it. <laughs> but I couldn't tell you where, where I've got it hid at because I hide stuff from me. That's what you do when you get a little older. You do that and write songs like I'm getting ready to sing right now. You get a certain age and you spend more time looking back than you do forward. And uh, I've been working on a new project. I don't know if it's called an album or a CD or what they call them these days. Probably downloads, but anyway, I've been working toward it, and this is one of the songs that's going to be on there. I don't need a time machine to get me where I'm going Cause there's an old song that can take me all the way And when the music of my life plays gently on my heartstrings It's like an invitation for a trip to yesterday and I can play in the playground of my memory Steal away to a place I once called home Let me dance to the music that my heart sings And I can always get there on the wings of a song Sometimes I close my eyes When this old world gets heavy And drift away to some old favorite time 
When love for me was new And life uncomplicated I still love to go there If only in my mind And I can play In the playground of my memory Steal away to a place I once called home Let me dance to the music that my heart sings And I can always get there on the wings of a song Somehow an old melody always seems to carry me away And I can play in the playgrounds of my memory Steal away to a place I once called home Let me dance to the music that my heart sings And I can always get there on the wings of a song I can always get there on the wings of a song. Thank you. If you all remember this one, you might want to sing along with me on it. I was honored to have a number one record by Charlie Pride on this one. It goes like this. My eyes can only see as far as you think you I've stopped searching all the faces in the crowd And I don't ever want to find somebody new I'm content with loneliness If you're not in my arms Cause my eyes can only see I usually save that for woman, woman But I went early with you <laughs> Now I'm tickled My heart is set on loving you forever and your love is strong enough to see me through it'll keep me holding on to you forever for my eyes can only see as far as you My heart is set on loving you forever And your love is strong enough to see me through it'll keep me holding on to you forever for my eyes can only see as far as you yes my eyes can only as far as you Thank you very much I had some mail to come pouring in This I'm plugging a date that we're doing together Randy That's good. At the uh, Commodore September 16th We're doing it with Mr. Glenn Tubb I'm looking forward to that
This one is the song I'm supposed to croak on when I... If it, uh, <laughs> I croaked early tonight. <laughs> I guess it is, I, it is getting darker earlier. So, yeah. well, it, just, it is, isn't it? It really is. I always pray that the Lord won't let me sound like alfalfa on that chorus. But I'd like to thank my co-writing buddy Jim Glazer for this song. We, uh, he brought the idea to me and we wrote it and I recorded it first. And My record was played in Los Angeles and Glenn Campbell heard it on the radio and called the disc jockey and wanted a copy of it. So I reckon they, they worked it out and he cut it first. And um, he had found by the time I get to Phoenix and he was decided to put that one out he was uh, more inclined to believe that was a hit for him but any <laughs> anyway i'm glad it worked out the way it did actually but he was a good friend of jerry fuller at columbia records and uh jerry had just signed gary puckett and the union gap and didn't have anything to record on that's that's my luck that's one of those lucky days isn't it so he said to jerry why don't you record woman woman on your boys so he did it just that and i'm mighty happy that he did and y'all, I know you're going to sing this one with me, aren't you? <laughs> Is my guitar coming through? Okay, I, cu I couldn't hear it anywhere. But I don't, I don't, not, no, I don't need to hear it any louder, really. No. <laughs> It'll make me hit that bad note a little softer if I do that. Jimmy doesn't need anything. Cheating on your mind On your mind Something's wrong between us That your laughter cannot hide And you're afraid to let your eyes meet mine I hate to have to say it, but that looks all over you. Woman, oh, woman, have you got cheating on your mind? I've seen the way men look at you When they think I don't see And it hurts to have them think That you're that kind I hate to have to say it But that looks all over you certain look when she is on the moon and the man can always tell what's on her mind I hate to have to say it but that looks all over you
Thank you all very much, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Oh. Jimmy Payne, everybody, once again. <laughs> Lovely. All right. <laughs> everybody, Glenn, good job, everybody. Thank you. You know, we, we went down to Memphis a few days ago to uh, Dottie's uh, granddaughter and her family. And some, no, it wasn't her. Uh, I lost my mind there for a minute. It was a friend of ours, uh, Carol Higgins and her cousin, wanted to go see Graceland. Well, I'd seen enough of Graceland, but <laughs> but I went down there anyway. And I thought, well, I'll just go down there with them, and while they're doing that, I'll go downtown and see if the uh, Home of the Blues record shop is still there. I never got downtown. And I don't know if it's still there or not. I read up on it best I could, and it was on Union Street, and it moved around the corner. And the guy died in 1976, and I don't know if the store is still there or not. But that's where I got the idea for the song. I thought it'd make a good title. I, did, I didn't even tune, did I? <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this song is a. This is the 60th anniversary of this song. It's been going for 60, 60 years now. And uh, a couple of years ago, uh, uh, Miss Nora Jones over in the pop field got this thing, and. Uh, that kind of knocked my socks off, but she did a great job on it, too. But I, I don't do it like John, and I don't repeat anything in my song. When I get through singing the song, I don't go back and sing the choruses and stuff all over again because that's kind of redundant. And I get through my songs as quick as I can. I don't have no guitar playing introductions or nothing. I just sing. <laughs> Well, just around the corner, there's heartache. Down the street, that loses use. If you can wait in through the teardrops, you'll find me at the home of the blues. I walk and cry while my heart beat Keeps time with the drag of my shoes The sun never shines through this window of mine Lord, it's dark at the home of the blues All but the place it's filled with the sweetest memories Memories so sweet that I cry Dreams that I've had Keep me feeling so bad I just want to give up and Lay down and die so if you just lost your sweetheart And it seems there's no good way to choose Just come along with me, misery Love's company You're welcome at the home of the blue Yeah, you're gonna find me at the home of the blues. Woo. Thank you. I was trying to remember where me and Johnny wrote that song, but I know we was on this side of the Canadian border. <laughs> but that's all I can swear to, because back in those days, <laughs> we... Uh, we had to have these these little helpers to get us to to the next town. 
you know, they, they would book these dates for us, and they'd be a thousand miles apart, and we're supposed to get there in one day. And they say, well, it's just that far on the map, but they're looking at a world atlas, you know. So that, that makes a big difference. Uh, A.V. Bamford was a, him and Oscar Davis both were really bad about that. Y'all don't know those people, that's all right. They're old, they're gone. Let me see. You outlasted Yeah, you know, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't just me. It was a whole bunch of us back then. We all had that Hank Williams syndrome. We was all trying to drink ourselves to death by the time we was 30. And uh, some of us made it and some of us didn't. And I was one that didn't make it, you know. And I woke up one day and I was 34. And I was still kicking. I said, well, this ain't working. I'm going to try something else. So I stopped all that. And it's a beautiful world out here now. Yeah, I've been, uh, let's see, 50, 50 years now. Like I said, I really didn't mean to get this old. If I'd known how much I was going to be hurting and how much uh, drugs and everything caused, you know, Back when I was taking drugs, you know, they wasn't that high, you know. We'd go to the drugstore and get a great big bottle for just a little bit of money. And then we'd take it down to the Grand Ole Opry and it'd all be going in 30 minutes. You know, I've, re I've really been uh, fortunate. I've been writing for a long time now. Uh, had my first song cut in 1952. And that's that's going back in their ways and uh, the the next big one I had was the one I just did with uh, uh, Johnny Cash uh, that was my that was my first national award uh, songwriting award and uh, I've been two or three since then not a whole bunch but I've been really lucky you know uh, I cut a song wrote a song that uh, uh, Johnny Cash wanted me to write him a gospel song and for his Man in Black album, and I did, and he put it in there, and he did a good job on it, and a few years later, I got a, a big check, and I knew that Johnny's record wasn't selling no more, so I, I called and asked who did it, and they referred me to England and EMI, and I asked them, and they checked on it, and they said some fellow named Bob Dylan had cut the song, and I thought, well, my goodness gracious, I like that a whole lot. I hadn't heard his record, hadn't tried to, because I would not be able to understand him anyway, you know. <laughs> you talk about important people that you see you know. Presidents and superstars of television shows But I know someone personally Who's bigger than them all Next to him your superstars look mighty small And I have a talk with him each day He's interested in every word I say No secretary ever tells me He's been called away I talk to Jesus every day I don't guess I'll ever be In any hall of fame and the social register of wealthy folks won't list my name but my name is written in the book of life i'm proud to say and that's all that really matters anyway and i talk to jesus every day He's interested in every word I say No secretary ever tells me He's been called away I 
talk to Jesus every day. I talk to Jesus every day. Skip a rope. Oh, listen to the children while they play. Ain't it kind of funny what the children say? Skip a rope. Daddy hates mommy. Mommy hates dad. Last night you should have heard the fight they had. Gave little sister another bad dream. She woke us all up with a terrible scream. Skip a rope. Skip a rope. I listen to the children while they play. Ain't it kind of funny what the children say? Skip a rope. Cheat on your taxes, don't you be a fool What was that they said about a golden rule Never mind a rule, just play to win Hate your day before the shade of his skin Skip a rope Skip a rope Oh, listen to the children while they play Ain't it kind of funny what the children say Skip a rope Stab him in the back, that's the name of the game And mommy and daddy are who's to blame Skip a rope, skip a rope. Just listen to your children while they play. It's really not very funny what your children say. Skip a rope. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We always wanted a big two-story house Back when we lived in that little two-room shack Wanted fame and fortune So we could live the way the rich folks do We knew somehow we'd make it Together, me and you With hopes and dreams of things to come We worked and never stopped Not much time for you and me We had to reach the top We bought that big two-story house Soon became the envy of the town all our work behind us, we finally settled down. Now we live in a two-story house. Oh, what splendor. But there's no love about us. Well, I've got my story. I got one, too. We now live in a two-story house Filled our house with rare antiques There's marble on the floor Beauty all around us Like we've never seen before Chandeliers in every room Imported silks and satins all about our house with everything I somehow left love out Now we live oh, yes, we in a two-story house 
house Oh, what splendor But there's no love about Well, I've got my story I got mine too How sad it is We now live in a two-story house How sad it is we now live in a two-story house. Now you get my <laughs> Thank you, brother. This is Mr. Bill White, everybody. Let's have a hand for Bill. Yeah. Howdy, Bill. Hey, Randy. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I will say it's, uh, it's weird to meet someone for the first time and give them an award. All on the same night. That's, that's kind of cool. Well, that's what my life's all about. Man. You know, <laughs> I just I just walk around and people just shower with me with all kinds of crazy stuff. So. Yeah. I'm honored to be amongst you. So far, every hit record that's been sung tonight, I've played on the radio in one state or another. Every single one of them. It's uh, just weird to me how that is. I would like to say, too, acknowledge that... Um, that uh, Lisa Parker bought me this guitar, which is really weird. And, uh, <laughs> she's the nicest woman, you know. <laughs> so, uh, because she likes Epiphones and not these fancy that's it. guitars. That's it. That's it. Well, I'm, I'm going to do some silly songs here, if that's okay. That's what uh, Jenny asked me to do, and I can get silly with the best of them. I don't have one of those songs I can roll out like woman, woman, and have everybody sing with it, so... I grew up with the um, the Billboard Hot 100 chart, you know, and there was a section when I first started in radio, like in 1968, 1969, I'd always look at those charts, and they had a section that said, bubbling under the Hot 100. Remember that, bubbling? I made a living bubbling under the Hot 100, you know, so <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ready to erupt at any time, though, so. so being on the radio, I get to, you know, I have the pleasure of all the years that I've done that, pretty much interviewing everybody I've ever dreamed of interviewing for the most part. And um, if you do anything long enough, you develop your skill set of, of uh, interviewing. And I got stories I could tell all night about, you know, great folks that I've met. Some of you guys I've, I've interviewed on the radio. And so you got to have good questions to ask. And that's what, uh, that's what this song's all about here. I've done a Google search and the answer wasn't there. Frankly, I don't think these can be answered anywhere. But if I could find some genius who would be up to the task, well, these are the questions that I'd ask. Why do women go to bathrooms in packs? Who jerked the first chicken? What's up with that? If Don Ho ran a brothel, would they call him Don Ho's? Did Ray Charles cut Don King's hair? That's what I want to know. Would Dolly Parton drown if she floated on her back? Oh, these are the questions that I'd ask. Well, sometimes I can't sleep at night when I lay down in bed From unanswered questions that keep running through my head In my mind, old Einstein says, go ahead, I'll take a crack And these are the questions that I ask of old Albert If Adele married a farmer, would there be a farmer in Adele? I'm going to explain or apologize for any of this. Oh, what the heck do you see in a Victoria's Secrets half-off sale? Does Indiana have a little package liquor store with a sign that reads, Who's your liquor hanging on the door? Does anybody ever get all the let out of their pants? Oh, the are the questions that I'd ask And if the Siamese twins made a record 
Would some disc jockey play them back to back? Oh, these are the questions. These silly questions. These are the questions that I'd ask. Thank you very much. Jerry Foster's going to come up here and do like the hit parade, so I'm just going to stick with what I know here, Jerry. So. This is a hateful music industry song here. They say the thing about comedy, they say, is what makes stuff funny is there's always some truth laced in the middle of it. So I think there's some truth in this here. See if I can remember this. He got off that smoke and trailways, headed straight for Music Row. He'd been singing, twang, and doing his thing in the bars out in Reno. A little long in the tooth, tobacco stains on his teeth. He was a hell of a singer, arriving on that Nashville scene. Well, that record man tossed his songs in the old recycle bin. He said, look at all them records on my wall gone platinum. Those spiky-haired singers got their guns built in the gym. They can't sing as good as you, but it's easier to look at them. And you can't be ugly and be a star in this town. With CMT and GAC, it ain't always about the sound. You better spike your hair and rip your jeans and let your knees hang out. Cause you can't be ugly and be a star in this town. Oh. She'd been writing hits for others, recorded hundreds of demos. But when it came time for her own deal, she got no thanks, no thanks, no. They said, you're no American Idol girl, the one thing we've come to know. It's easier to fix your voice than it is to fix your crooked nose. And you can't be ugly and be a star in this town. With YouTube and reality shows, it ain't always about the sound. You can round your notes all you want. You can't be that big around. No, you can't be ugly and be a star in this town. Oh. Johnny Cash was alive today. <laughs> so guys, if you're over 40 and but ugly as can be, Write songs like Bob DePiro, Jerry Foster, or me. Now, ladies, you can lip sync if your lips are collagen. But if the girls start heading south, you better nip a Tanya Tucker them. Cause you can't be ugly and be a star in this town. With vocal machines and marketing, it ain't always about the sound. Metro country sexual hell, that's what's selling now. No, you can't be ugly and be a star in this town. Go ahead and get those braces, kid. We'll see how that turns out. No, you can't be ugly and be a star in this town. Oh, you can. Well, I played Hank and I played Cash. I drug a needle through the eagles in a stack of wax. And I'm the butt end of that tired old Joe. I got a face for radio Obituaries and birthdays Well, I've read them both They cut both ways And I pimped used cars at sales remotes 
Yeah, I got a face for radio, just a voice that some folks like hiding behind an on air line. Well, they put my mug on billboard signs. Imagine that. Listen weekday mornings five to nine. But when I wouldn't play their damn ten in a row, they fired my face from the radio and I made you cry, I made you laugh. I've helped you kill time in a traffic jam a whole bunch of times in this city. Now when the towers fell. And then the Pentagon. Well, I held your hands on 911. It's election time, get out and vote. PSA face on the radio, just a voice. Some folks lie, hiding behind. A blinking on air light. Yeah, they hung my plaque in a hall of fame. Next to other faces you can't name. But when they look at mine, they'll say, you know. He's got a face for radio. I'm just fine with that, to tell you the truth. Now, if someday it's heaven for me, I hope I'll have a face for WGOD Radio. Thank you, folks. Good Honor life. to be here. Thank you, Randy. Jerry Foster, everybody. How about you? Hello, Monitor. There you go. Great to be back and see some old friends. I, gosh, it's been a long time since we've had a chance to talk. It's really good to see you, Dallas, and everybody else, too. It was hanging around with Judy Rodman back there and John, some of them. Judy and I wrote some songs one time, and the first, the first thing we wrote, she came over to the house. We were both writing for Warner Brothers, and I said, uh, you have an idea, Judy? And she said, I got a title. And I said, what is it? And she said, I'm a sucker for a real slow dance. And I said, what in the hell am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> but it turned out to be a pretty good song, Judy. I got, like, Bill Rice and I wrote together for 18 years, so I don't take credit for none of this by myself because um, we started out and uh, he had he could write great melodies and he liked my words, and so we kind of put them together one time and uh, we wound up with a pretty good career. So anyway, we wrote like 21 songs for Jerry Lee Lewis and we had a couple of number ones on him but the the last thing that he had that was a hit Bill and I wrote and went to seven Eddie Kilroy was producing him and he called me and he said Foss I'm cutting the killer and he said I I don't think I have anything that I really feel like it's a hit he said you got anything and I said I don't know man but I'll tell you what I'll do I'll get with Rice and we'll write my autobiography so that's what this is <laughs> He's out there somewhere every night where the music's playing loud. Doing all those old time steps in a modern dancing crowd. The dim lights hide the mileage lines, the glare oil hides the gray. And he don't mention anything that gives his age away. He's 39 and holding, holding everything he can. From 17 to 25 to prove he's still a man. He's holding to the candle and it's burning at both ends. He's 39 and holding, holding everything he can. Now you can bet he'll never see 39 again. Should have give up long ago, but he's still hanging in. 
He still thinks he's the man that he used to be. He's 39 and holding and acting 23. Yeah, he's 39 and holding, holding everything he can. From 17 to 25 to prove he's still a man. He's holding to a candle and it's burning at both ends. He's 39 and holding, holding everything he can. And the good ones twice. <laughs> Thank you. This song came by by accident. Well, kind of. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You hear that, JC? Yeah, then I'm in trouble. If you can hear it that far back, I'm really in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Bill Rice and I had written a song one morning, and, and Bill was living in Dixon, Tennessee, and was about 40 miles south of here. I went over to Cinnamon Records and was talking to a friend of mine, and he started making appointments with competitors, and, and they put them pretty close together. And I said, hey, what are you going to do if some of those people show up at the same time? He said, God, Foss, I don't know. I'll think of something. And I said, can I use your phone? <laughs> and I called Rice, and I said, you got to come back in. we got to write tonight. And he said, we'll just wait till tomorrow. And I said, no, it won't. So he argued with me for about 20 minutes because he had to drive a lot farther. And he said, okay, I'll meet you at the writer's room at 8 o'clock. And I said, okay. So we had a key to the building and to the office. So we met at 8 o'clock went back. And I pretty much had the story put together anyway. And we're down to the, about the last few notes. And we wrote this pretty quick. And there was a knock at the door. And I thought it was a janitor. And I said, Bill, um, just hold on what you got. And uh, I'll tell him to come back tomorrow night and clean up. We, we don't need anybody to clean up tonight anyway. And, we're almost finished with this thing. And he said, okay. And so I went to the door and opened it, and it was Jim Vino. And he said, when you guys finish that song, I think you're calling it I'll Think of Something. He said, I want Bill to go ahead and put a guitar work tape down, and you slide the lyric under the door. I'm cutting out on Hank Jr. tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. And so God works in funny ways. But if we don't write that that night, Hank will probably never hear it. And then Mark Chestnut... It became one of his favorite songs, and he took it to number one. But Hank went to seven with it. So. I don't know how I'll get her off my mind, but give me time. I'll think of something. I can't say today that I'm all right, but by tonight, I'll think of something I'll find so many things to do that I won't have the time to think of her then if she's still on my mind I'll try to drink enough to drown the hurt and if that don't work I'll think of something where do I go for love that I still need? Now that I'm free, I'll think of something. And if someday by accident we meet and I can't speak, I'll think of something. If I can't say a word to her, I'll blame it on this lump that's in my throat. Then standing there, what will I do to hide my love enough that it won't show? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I'll get her off my mind. But give me time I'll think of something That's it.
Thank you. You know, it's really funny. Bill was talking about radio, and uh, I got a job in radio because I wanted to get off the road. And uh, Bill Rice and I, were, we got booked at a theater in Popper Bluff, Missouri. I'd never met Bill before, and he was recording for Dot, and I was recording for Backbeat Records. And uh, so I was always a rockabilly. And uh, I used to do some shows with Lloyd Price and Fats Domino and some people like that. So an album, but they turned it down. And the first cut on it was by LaWanda Lindsay, and Lloyd Green did it. And he also cut a thing called uh, Wish Was a Little Boy Again, and that came out instead of this. So it was never released on LaWanda. And Johnny Paycheck heard it and cut a hit with this thing. And then... We've had about 30 cuts on this. Robert Goulet did it, and I'm not going to do his version tonight, I can assure you. I do have a distinction with this song. This is a song that Sonny and Cher broke up to. We had two songs on the session, and uh, they they did the first one. They got it down. Snuff Garrett told me the story, and he said, uh, we had the tracks cut and everything else, and they came in to record, and they got the first song down, and they were going through a divorce. And they started throwing ashtrays at each other in the studio. So... Evidently, the love part of this didn't hit them too well. I don't know what happened, but anyway, I just do it the best I can. I could search from now till the end of time and never find another you. I'm so glad because I know you're mine. Someone to give my love to I will follow you to the ends of the earth For my place will be with you I have taken you for better or worse Someone to give my love to I find happiness is loving you I'll do my best to make your dreams come true Days of man and wife time are precious few I will spend them all with you Then beyond forever I'll wait for you Someone to give my love to I said, thank you. you want to pull that oh, that's good, just leave it oh, in there. Jerry good. Foster, everybody. Thank, thank, thank you, you very so much. much, Jerry, for being here tonight. What you do with that when it don't work? You want... You want to just, uh, we'll just park yourself there, and we'll oh. sing another tune real quick, everybody. Judy, can you get up here and play some piano? And uh, uh, JC, are you, can you get away from the board and get over here and play some bass with us? Uh, I'm, I'll be singing. Just turn the mics on and, uh, you know, let everything just kind of. Jake, don't worry about it. We'll sing together. I'll sing with Jerry. We are both. Uh, what are we singing? Uh, well, we, we've got our dental work here, right? So we're good? Okay. Okay. And uh, and and uh, let's let's get Jimmy. Come on up, um, everybody. We're gonna get everybody to sing one together now. Okay, uh, Dallas is. That's all right. You know, uh, he'll. Um, Glenn, you just sing from where you're at. Okay, all right. You don't make a move. All right. Don't let anybody steal your chair. Okay. Now you knew Carl Perkins, right? You're a good friend of Carl's, right? He wrote this song, and, and Johnny Cash recorded it. And I think Johnny must have sang this almost every time he did his television show. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was a lad, times were hard and things were bad. But there's a silver lining behind every cloud. Just four people, that's all we were, trying to make a living out of black land dirt. 
We'd get together in a family circle singing loud. Mama sang tenor. Be a little brother, but you're right in there in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Play a little bit, Jim. One more I got to do here, and I really appreciate everybody being here for this thing. I, I uh, of course, this this all was uh, the LOZ Radio's idea of uh, of um, something that would be nice for me, and I I really don't know what to say. So I don't have uh, JC. I really don't know what to say. And JC, you've done a great, fantastic job with the sound and everything tonight. I really appreciate it. Now, I've got one more tune I'm going to do here. This is another one of my songs. We're in the running for getting a nomination for Song of the Year for the Trop Rock Music Association. So, uh, And Judy and I have played this song before. It's called Refuge. So uh, we're going to do this right now. And um, anybody who's listening out there uh, in uh, Facebook land or whatever, it goes like this. If you could see inside my heart, you would find a place where you belong, a place that's safe from all the rain, from all the pain to stun. I'll be your refuge from the storm When seas are calm And skies are blue The winds are steady and sailing smooth I hope and pray This perfect day Will stay But if it all goes wrong I'll be your refuge From the storm
I can't stop the wind from blowing I can't stop the rain from falling All I can be Is your true friend When that old blue northern comes blowing in A harbor safe, selfless shore When bows break and sails are torn I'll be your refuge from the storm So chart your course While skies are clear Set your sails high And have no fear But if bows break The sails are torn There is a place You can call home I'll be y'all appreciate that thank you loz radio appreciate y'all signing off once again